welcome to the Great Ocean Walk, one of Victoria's premier long distance hiking trails, located on the traditional lands of the Gadabanood and the Kirrawahong country. Nyarama, welcome, hello. My name is Billy Briggs. I'd like to pay my respects to the elders of this country of the Gadabanood, of both past, present, and emerging. This country is important to us because we as Aboriginal people relate to it by listening and hearing and smelling and understanding the signs that country will throw at you. As you're walking along the Great Ocean Walk, think about who walked before you on this land for thousands of years. Think about the importance of what this country means to us as Aboriginal people and to everyone. The Great Ocean Walk is a hidden gem following the dramatic coastline from Apollo Bay through the Great Otway National Park, Port Campbell National Park, concluding at the landmark 12 Apostles. Many people are familiar with the Great Ocean Road, but the Great Ocean Walk offers a completely different perspective and takes you places the road doesn't. Walking from east to west highlights the diverse rugged landscape of southern Victoria, maximising the view, reducing foot traffic, as well as impacts on the environment and the facilities. Around every corner and over every hill, the landscape changes. Across rivers and creeks, isolated sandy beaches, fern gullies and cool wet temperate eucalypt forests to coastal heathlands. Witness magnificent sandstone cliffs, which over time have been shaped by wind, rain and the wild southern ocean to create the ever-changing and unique views we see today. The Great Ocean Walk can be experienced as an extended trip of up to seven to eight days or broken down into smaller sections and day hikes, as numerous trailheads allow you to step on and off the walk as you please. Make use of the purpose-built campgrounds located along the trail or off the trail in luxury or budget accommodation. Mobile phone coverage is not guaranteed as you walk in and out of the gullies and through thick forests along the walk. However, most campsites along the route have mobile phone reception. The trail itself is free to experience, however the seven hiking campsites located along the walk must be pre-booked and paid for. These include Elliot Ridge, Blanket Bay, Cape Otway, Air River, Johanna Beach, Ryan's Den and Devil's Kitchen. Each of the seven campgrounds have eight campsites suitable for up to three people or one tent per site. You can use Parks Victoria's online journey planner to pre-book your visit. The journey planner provides further information about how long it should take trail guides and distances between campgrounds, including terrain and what to expect and additional options to extend your walk. There are composting toilets at each campsite along the walk. If you prefer to opt for comfortable accommodation nearby, visit greatoceanroad.org.au for details. One of the best ways to experience the Great Ocean Walk is with a licensed tour operator. There are over 20 operators to choose from who are ready to help you explore and discover this magnificent coastline. Booking a licensed tour operator gives you the confidence you need to make the most of your experience. Tour operators offer a range of services for walkers, including guided tours, transport, camping equipment hire, safety devices, food provision and more. They do all the hard work for you by planning and preparing your visit, so you can enjoy your nature-based adventure to the full. Visit Parks Victoria's website to find a Great Ocean Walk tour operator today. When experiencing the Great Ocean Walk, the most important thing to do is plan ahead. This will help you prepare for quick and dramatic changes in weather conditions, tidal movements, large waves and hidden dangers. Some beaches may be affected by the ocean tides. The best time to walk along the coastline is at low tide and when the sea is calm. Some beach walks are not accessible at high tide or during poor weather conditions. Alternate inland tracks are a safer option during these times. Sign markers are positioned along the walk to alert you of approaching beach walks and to remind you to check tidal conditions before hitting the sand. Beach walking access and alternate inland tracks are marked on the Great Ocean Walk map, which can be collected from a local visitor information centre before you begin. Safety devices such as safety beacons are recommended and are used to alert emergency services and provide GPS tracking. These can also be hired from licensed tour operators. Bushfire safety preparedness is your responsibility. Please ensure you download the Vic Emergency app and check conditions daily, particularly on total fire ban days. If you're unsure, please use a licensed tour operator to ensure you have the best and safest experience. One of the many joys of the Great Ocean Walk is sharing the track with native wildlife such as wallabies, kangaroos, echidnas, bandicoots, lizards and snakes. It's important to keep wildlife wild, so please give them space and do not feed them. 
Help look after these special places. To minimise your impact, keep deformed tracks, take your rubbish with you, including food scraps, so you don't harm the wildlife and the environment. Please use the foot bars provided to clean down your shoes and equipment, such as walking poles in between sections, to avoid plant pathogens being spread across the landscape. Be patient, plan and prepare your journey and please enjoy this magnificent part of Victoria. For more information, visit Parks Victoria's website to find your next adventure today.